that a massive brand noticed me. This is legit. Like, focus on the now because the now is the only thing that we have. And trust the process and you will get to where you want to be. It tastes like dirt. Good morning. It is currently 6.30 in the morning. I have not woken up at this time in a while. I've been kind of slipping in until like 7.30, 8am. And it's kind of nice actually to wake up this early. Kind of nice. I wish I had like a proper morning routine today and get myself organized because I mean honestly I always feel better when I have like a good solid morning routine it's been kind of on and off to be honest like sometimes I do yoga sometimes I journal sometimes I go for a walk in the morning now I kind of want to make it like a solid morning routine where I actually do all of the blah, 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 do all those things I feel more put together with proper morning routine to be honest um, even meditation guys I actually have not meditated in like a month I probably meditated like a couple times within the month I've fallen off track and I know meditation is really good for me it keeps me grounded I need to get off this it's been a habit of mine accidental habit to go on my phone in the morning when I wake up it's been really bad I'm not gonna lie I've been reaching for my phone every day and I don't want to do that we're trying to get rid of this habit it's not good it's not good but we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it having like frequency music in the background always helps me focus when I'm journaling or trying to go to sleep <laughs> I promise it puts me in, in such a peaceful state <laughs> I recommend you guys to please try to do some stretches in the morning it's so good for you I don't know I feel like I'm so much more loose in general like my limbs are more loose and I don't feel as stiff when I stretch in the morning so I recommend stretching do some yoga even for five minutes do it it's good for your mind body and soul <laughs> okay i actually haven't had honeydew in like a hot minute i don't remember the last time i had it so i feel like usually my mom always buys like rock melon watermelon honeydew not really so cheers taste test mm. yum it tastes like honeydew lollies i know the pineapple's not that sweet that's why i didn't get that much but no one else is going to eat it, to be honest. 
Yeah, I feel like I'm the most fruit person out of everyone in my family, so. Yeah, it's sour. But it's good for you. If you know, you know. <laughs> I was having like a mad craving for fruits and egg today. I'm so glad there was actually cut up fruits in the fridge. <laughs> Thanks, mama. I love breakfast. I'm not even kidding. I feel like breakfast is literally my favorite meal of the day. Like I could have breakfast food for lunch and dinner and snack. Yep. This part of the chapter, I feel like everyone kind of needs. Uh, <sighs> so I just read this part of the book that I feel like we all kind of need to be reminded of. Let me turn that turn the fan off. <sighs> there was this part in the book that I'm currently reading that I feel like would resonate with pretty much everyone these days. Every second you spend thinking about the next moment, you avoid embracing the present. Ensure your life isn't lived entirely in your head. That is freaking crazy because I feel like nowadays everyone is so goal oriented and future focused that they're kind of forgetting to actually live in the now and actually be grateful for what they have now and in this current present time. Yeah, it's, it's obviously good to have goals in life, but I feel like we often want more. We kind of wait to be happy when we get that thing that we want in the future, if that makes sense. It's just a very good reminder to just focus on the now because the now is the only thing that we have currently. <laughs> like the past is the past, you can't really change the past. Unless you can go back in the future, then you, um, go back in the future, go back to the past, then yeah. There's no point in, you know, stressing about what hasn't happened yet, if that makes sense. This is a really good book. I don't know what I'm in the mood to wear today. Um, I actually want to organize my closet because it's kind of like I'll do that now I did buy some hangers I'm so happy about these hangers because <laughs> they've been out of stock for ages from Kmart and it's it's been frustrating because I'm like I want to hang up a whole bunch of my clothes but I don't have enough hangers so I was like I'm gonna buy two just to be sure you know because you can never have enough hangers because you can never have enough clothes. That's the concept I'm going for. I bought two. I'm not going to use all of it because I don't have that many clothes to hang up. But, you know, just in case. Just in case. Uh, stocking up on hangers. <laughs> don't you worry. I'm going to use them eventually. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hang up some of my Gymshark stuff. I didn't actually update you guys. I did update Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, please do. The link is down below. It's just Jill Maris. Oh my god, I, my arms hurt from carrying this. I need to put you guys down. I'm sorry. Give me a sec. Okay. Oh, much better. I was holding the camera. I was just like, I can't. My arms hurt. Anyways, okay. So the Gymshark manager messaged me. I think she's, um, I don't know. She's part of the management team and messaged me on my professional Gmail account and asked if I wanted to receive some products from them. I'm like, wait a minute. Is this legit? Like, is this, is this legit? Like, what? I had to delete some footage from my camera because I ran out of space. Anyways, I, I don't know why I didn't get to update you guys, but it's just I haven't been in the mood to film, so I didn't really film anything. I did actually, oh, guys, I actually did film myself on the day that I found out that, you know, Gymshark noticed me and that they wanted to send me some products. Like, it was insane. I was crying. I was just jumping up and down. It was just, I was just so happy. <laughs> It was just, I was experiencing such joy and happiness hearing from Gymshark. It was just so crazy. What? As someone that is a super micro, super, <laughs> super micro, a micro influencer, because influencers got such a bad rep to it. I don't know why, but that's why I don't like considering myself as an influencer because it's just, it's just considered like a bad thing. I don't know why, but it is. It's not 
a massive deal for some people but for me it is because I've been I don't know like I guess I've been working at it as a content creator for like a couple years now and the fact that a massive brand noticed me really just just hit home I was just like wow I'm getting there you know like slowly I'm getting there <laughs> slowly but surely I'm not gonna cry I don't know why I'm gonna cry I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry <laughs> I already cried like multiple times about this I'm just like wow I feel like I know which direction I can I'm headed now like I I know um and I'm like wow I feel like everything's just falling into place it's just coming into a full circle and you know it's been solidified I'm just like oh my god I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful for all the things that I got I got so many things I was just like wow they sent me all this I'm just like I expected to receive like 10 items I'll be honest but I was like over 20 items and I'm just so grateful but yeah if you're someone that is you know working on their goals or whatever your goals may be just keep persisting keep going stay consistent because you never know you never know when your big break will be um you just never know just gonna have to have faith and trust the process and you will get to where you want to be and enjoy that process that was like a s massive sidetrack from what I was meant to do which is hang up all these Gymshark stuff like I just feel like I want to see it yeah and I appreciate this milestone in my life which is getting free Gymshark products it's enough chatting my mouth hurts it's been 10 minutes <laughs> it's obviously not gonna be 10 minutes for you guys but it's 10 minutes for me and 10 minutes too long talking because my mouth hurts ah, I need to fix this up ASAP I've been putting it off because I've been using the lack of hangers and as an excuse to not clean up our wardrobe but can't have any more excuses look at my LED lights I have not whipped them out in ages it's been stored for like over a year <laughs> I'm finally putting it to good use I used it for the Gymshark haul and it was the lighting was a 10 out of 10 <laughs> they smell weird or oh, they actually they stink show you guys because I'm proud of this look at how pretty it looks <laughs> it's so nice like I just feel like I'm shopping you know like oh do I feel like wearing this today oh I feel like wearing a bit of purple today oh look at that I might wear this today <laughs> It tastes like dirt. It's good for me. This is good for me. It's good for me. Alright, so I am on my way to the gym. I am taking some pre-workout today and it's currently 2.40. A very late consumption of caffeine, but I feel like I need it today. I was literally gonna fall asleep. So like I really need the kick. I need it. I'm gonna just take some melatonin tonight and hope for the best. But yeah, I'm going for the sleek back look today. I'm loving it. I I don't know, something about a sleek back look at the gym that just completes the look, you know? We need to get going. Yeah, we need to get going. I need to get going. Yeah, I don't know, baby, gonna give it up. Mm. I said, I'm sure they don't fuck this up. Mm. She do it proud, but add it to like she Madonna She think it's song, we're trading that Balenciaga Yeah, you rappers trash, gon' give it up mm -hmm. I like that man, but you bitches fuck mm -hmm. You ain't do numbers, how you fucking up commas Yeah, the label you on, it's knowing they really don't want you You ain't wanna do all the things I did Drop 20 pounds, how to get like this Moving alone, I don't need no bitch I got any time to me to get it, you boys is pathetic, don't come to my session Blessing these shots, ain't no point in suppression I know I'm really gonna see me, so I'm blessings, on blessings, on blessings I ain't just talking about getting these statics and fucking these bitches and breaking these back I'm talking safety for all of the fans, I always stay happy to enjoy the bands I'm good The bands, growing up I always had me a plan Things come around, I'm not breaking no bread Don't want your pussy, I 
I'm taking that head. I don't do chasing, I replace and stand. Yeah. Oh, it's so zip Wait, I forgot to sit there. She do a proper attitude like she went down. Cleaning break. You rappers trash gon' give it up. I let a man with you bitches for. You ain't do numbers, how you fucking a car? I thought this was shampoo and I thought, the, I thought this was conditioner. What the heck? <laughs> I've been using conditioner on my scalp for like two weeks now. No wonder I wasn't bubbling up. I've been conditioning my hair this whole time. Lovely. Hey, my goodie and my goodie and my goodie and I got the cap on and never turn into a stunner.